Google Schmidt to sell a stake worth two and a half billion dollars worth of Google stock. We'll discuss whether that's going to be bearish for the stock or not. All that and more right here, right now on Digits. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable. Well, we're going to go out to the West Coast where Scott Thurm is standing by for us. He's written about Google's uh, Eric Schmidt wanting to uh, dump a bit of stock. Thanks for being there, Scott. Thank you. So. That's an awful lot of uh, stock to dump, right? It is. I mean, the, you know, two and a half billion obviously gets a headline because of the dollars involved. The, the potentially more interesting fact here is it's 40, more than 40 percent of how much uh, Eric Schmidt still owns of Google, and that that's potentially more interesting here because you know he's really, uh, 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 you know, saying here he's going to reduce his stake pretty significantly over the next year. And he's already he already sold um, over one billion of of stock within the last year. So this comes on on top of that, getting out of Google stock, getting into cash at least in, initially. Is this something that investors in Google should be concerned about? Well, some probably will. I mean, you saw that the stock is down about one percent today, a little bit more than the market and. Uh, some investors tend to view executive sales as a as a bearish sign, and thinking investors know when the stock is pretty, uh, you know, richly valued. And if, if the if the executive chairman um, is selling, then maybe the stock is heading lower. But you know, remember that you know over the time he sold that billion dollars worth of stock last year, Google stock rose 20 or 30 percent. So you know, people who made the same bet last year would have been proved wrong. You know, and the other thing to remember about this is although they just disclosed the filing on Friday, they said in the filing he had actually drawn up the plan back in November when Google shares were considerably lower. And again, if, if, if he were trying to time the market then, he would have been um, wrong again. So, you know, each of the last two times he said that um, he was going to sell some stock, the stock's only gone higher, not lower. Okay, well, actually, maybe that's that's bullish then. If you if you buy the contrary yeah, indicator, it becomes a contrary <laughs> indicator, yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of funny coming from a guy who led the company for so long. Now, one of the things that the company spokesman is saying is that that this is about diversification of assets. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's hard to know without getting inside these guys' heads. But you know, uh, a year, you know, before he did that first sale a year ago, I mean, ninety nine whatever percent of of Eric Schmidt's wealth was tied up in Google stock. And so if something were to happen to Google because the market went down or something else happened, I mean, you know, he was he was pretty exposed there and it, he may just be, you know, trying to spread it around a little bit more. The other thing is he's clearly stepping back from, you know, sort of the more intimate day to day responsibilities there. He he stepped down as CEO back in 2011. He's now executive chairman with these sales year after year. Seems like he's sort of, you know, very slowly taking a a few steps away from the company that he led for you know a decade or so. Now, one one of the things that some investors will look at and say, look, he, he sold over one billion dollars worth of stock uh, last year. That gives him some cash to live on. Last last more than a couple of weeks, one would think. If he thought the stock was going higher, why would he sell? He he probably wouldn't, would he? Yeah, I mean, again, without getting inside his head, it's hard to know the answer to that, except for the. You, you may not just want to bear the risk of having everything tied up in a single asset, right? So it, you know, all sorts of things could happen to Google stock that he had would have no way of uh, being able to anticipate. And you know, even if you're just trying to diversify between stocks and bonds, maybe he wants to put more money into bonds and less money into stocks. He thinks stocks or stocks in general are going to fall. I'm not saying nothing about how Google's going to perform relative to the rest of the market. I mean, it's impossible to know without asking him personally, but. You know that the points you're raising are the very reasons why some people sell the stock when they see news like this.